Okay guys, you remember how this bolt broke off. I managed to drill it out. I tried with heat, did not work. Didn't want to heat it too much. Didn't want to melt the rubber seal inside the caliper. Uh, but it did get hot. And not as Probably not as hot as it did on the track. But anyways, didn't want to overdo it. So that's why I switched to drilling. And now what we got to do is make new threads and install a helicoil. But before we do that, there's something I want to talk about. All right, so before me, I got a helicoil kit, which is for an M10 1.5 thread size. I'm going to take one out. I've never used these before, but I wanted to stay with the same size bolt for both calipers. The front also stripped, the, the rear broke and stripped. The front just stripped. I managed to take the bolt out. The bolt is fine, I can reuse it, but the caliper ear is not. Okay, so anyway, this is how it looks. This helicoil. Basically, it's still the same thread, 1.5 on the inside, 1.5 on the outside. Just uh, threads in. The helicoil will thread in into the caliper. But took me a bit to figure out exactly what size this tab is. Now, I was asking a bunch of guys at, at Napa or looking online, nobody could tell me what the actual tab size it is for the outside diameter of the helicoil. Uh, they all said it's it's a 10, 1.5 oversized. Okay, I don't want to be getting you know a new tap if I have a set. So I thought okay, it's got to be an odd size. So but I did order the whole set just to see because I didn't want to make the hole too big or too small well, too big actually if it if i made it too small then i would just drill it out again but i didn't want to make it too big but this is what i've noticed i hope you can see this this says m10 1.5 which is the actual bolt size the actual original bolt size that goes into the caliper but as you can see this is bigger The bolt size is 0.38, let's call it, let's call it a 0.38, but the tap size is a 0.47, so obviously it's bigger, so obviously it's not really a, an M10 1.5, I'll tell you what it is. This is an M12. 1.5. Check it out. 0.469. Call it. Let's say it's a 4. Point, or a 0.47. Yeah. Let's reset. 4. 0.469. Point four seven one. Not much of a difference, huh? Point four seven. Point four seven. Exactly the same. What do you know? And this one says M twelve by one point five. If you can't see it, you can trust me on this. This is an M twelve one five. M1015. Yeah, this should say M1215. So it's basically two sizes over than the actual bolt. So let's measure the helicoil. Point four seven five. Yep. So I had the tap, didn't really have to buy the whole set with the tap and the bit, actually the bit I'm 
this bit came with it, which is nice. So, so all this came together as a set. But I also need a um, M12 1.5, and I bet you the uh, tip, the tab size is an M14 1.5, which I already have. That's why I didn't order a kit, but I wanted to check it out with this one. This is a nice tool, you could get away with using small needle nose pliers. I wonder if I should use thread locker on this. I think I'm going to very little. It actually doesn't want to come out. I'll just go through. And this punch is to knock out a little piece in the back. Well, that didn't work too well, did it? There we go. All right, it works. Should be okay. Caliper is fixed. Okay guys, as suspected, the M12 1.5 that's the front caliper bolt it is 0.46 4 the heli coil this I just bought a set or a set of heli coils not the whole set uh, the tool set just the heli coils there is let's see there's six of them inside so the width of the M12 1.5 heli coil is 0.58. Okay. So since this is a M12 1.5 and the rear caliper bolt was an M10 1.5 and we needed a tab which was M12 1.5. So since this is an M12 for the front, I bet you all we need is an M14 1.5. Let's see, where is it? M14 1.5. So the diameter of the M14 tab is 0.5.53. Coil 0.5.5857. So five seven. Let's call it a five eight. Five eight. versus a 553 which is okay because this will 
it will get smaller see how it's like a spring once it goes in it's going to get a little bit smaller so let's actually let's try it let's squeeze it 0.578 and this was 0.55 yeah see it's 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 pretty loose yeah this is way too loose so what would have to happen you have to twist it so the threads of the bolt and the helicoil get closer together yeah I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a this tap the M14 tap is gonna work I'm not even gonna I was gonna test it out on something else drill a hole and and just tap it and, and uh, test this helicoil but I'm not I'm I'm 100% positive this is gonna work I should have been measuring all this in millimeters not inches so tap 14 bolt 11 8 helical outside it's probably 14 this is the front caliper coil is in like I said it did fit no issues there but I am not too happy about it because kind of I think when I was drilling with the, the drill bit I don't think the bit went straight in evenly I think I was holding the drill a bit too low and I ended up drilling in a slight angle you can see there the threads are a tiny bit deeper on top than on the bottom that's why this thing the helicoil came out but the bolt goes in all the way so it should be okay I hope <laughs> 